Let's see how the new interface in Plexus 3 works. Here I'm in After Effects. I have an empty project here. Let me create a new composition. Let me create a new solid. And go Effect, Rubite, Plexus. Now, there is a new floating window uh, here, which has a toolkit and a new uh, tree-based structure. Now, this window is dockable anywhere within After Effects. Uh, you can leave it floating if you want, but you can dock it anywhere within After Effects. And I'm going to dock here, right next to the effects panel. I'm going to uh, resize this a bit. Now, the toolkit works pretty much like Plexus 2, where you can add new objects. So let me create a new previous object. And here, there it is. And let me add a new noise object. Now, in Plexus 2, uh, all the effects were stacked. Were, uh, in, and even in Plexus 3, they're still stacked. But now you can, if you want to go to an object, you can directly select that object here in the tree. And only that object is shown in the FX control panel. And if you want to select multiple objects, you can select multiple objects and you can uh, only those objects are shown in the FX control panel. So it really helps you organize um, all the objects within a layer much better. And it really comes in handy when you want to put them in groups. For example, you can add a group and we can actually drag and drop within here. And let me select three, three and move to group one. And instantly all the groups uh, within the objects are changed. No need to change them individually. And if you want to rename them, for example, if you want to rename it to grid, you can do it directly uh, within the object panel. If you want to rename it to just noise, or you can have multiple points. So points, and if you want to have another points renderer, and you can just put them in that group and call it points too. Or if you want to remove them, you can select uh, you can select that uh, object directly uh, within the panel and press delete and that will be removed. Now the Plexus FX still has to be at the bottom of the FX stack here. Uh, when you select other objects, the Plexus is still at the bottom uh, because that's what necessary to render here. Just keep that in mind. And yeah, this is how the new object panel works. Uh, it really helps you to organize uh, all the Plexus objects within a layer much better and really improves the workflow.